Hi, this is Edward Troxell, and today we're going to look at what is the absolute minimum I need in order to create a script in Vegas. Honestly, the bare minimum you need is Notepad, so let's take a look at that. First, we open Notepad, and then we have to type in the script that we want to use. In this case, I'm just going to create a simple script that displays the version of Vegas we are running. So first, let's start with our using statements. We're going to include the Windows Forms so that we can actually display the version number. And then we have to have Script Portal. After we have done that, we now need to create an entry point for Vegas to find. So we create the public, and it's going to be a class, an entry point. Inside here, we can now create our variable for Vegas. Then we have to have a from Vegas, which is what Vegas is going to look for. And from Vegas will pass us the Vegas parameter. Now, let's set our variable that we created to the parameter that was passed to us. And now let's display the message. close the from Vegas and then we'll close the class. This is a C sharp script. We need to save it with a .cs file extension. So we'll come down here and I'm going to save it into C and I created a test scripts folder here and let's just save this as Vegas version.cs and we'll change this to be all files so that it will keep our cs. We save that and now if we go into Vegas we go to tools scripting run script now we can browse to c colon test scripts and we will see our script is right there. Click on that, click on open, and we have an error message. So let's see what went wrong. It says here on line four, the namespace cannot directly contain members such as fields or methods. So let's see what went wrong. One, two, three, four. So here is the line that it is complaining about. It looks like this has a capital P and it really should be a lowercase p. So let's try again, save it, and then we'll run it again. Still got an error message. Now it's on line eight. It's in the type or namespace VOIC could not be found. Okay, so now let's look here and go down to line eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's be this line right here. It appears there is another typo here. So we change that, click on save, and we try to run it again. And this time it ran just fine. So as you can see, you can easily create a script using just Notepad, but the debugging part of it is fairly complicated in that you have to go through and figure out what line it happened on, and you have to figure out what the error message actually means. In this case, the error messages were fairly simple, but they were there. 
So now let's look at how we can, can work on this script and debug along the way and also be able to have some automatic completion as we are typing in the lines. To do that, we need to have Visual Studio. You can find and download Visual Studio by going to visualstudio.microsoft.com slash free developer offers. I happen to have an older version of Video Studio in, installed, but it still works fine for what I'm needing to do. So I'm using version 2015. I believe the current version it might be 2019. I'm not exactly sure on that because I haven't installed the newest version. But the principles should be the same no matter whether you're using the older version like I am or if you're using the current version. So let's go in and we are going to start a new project. We are going to start this as a class library because we don't need any screens or anything so we're going to just make it a class library and we are going to call this test script. I'm going to save it in that same test scripts folder that I was using a while ago. We are going to go ahead and create a new directory for the solution and we are going to click on OK. This pulls up some information for us already built in and we will use this in a minute but let's come over here and look at the references first. The first thing I want to do is right click references and click on add reference. If you notice the Windows Forms was not listed so I'm going to scroll down to Windows Forms and check that one so that it will be added and click on OK. Now I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to add another reference and this one is going to be for Vegas. In this case I'm going to browse and then I'm going to click on browse and then I'm going to go down to Drive C, Program Files, scroll down to Vegas, go to Vegas Pro 18 and then scroll down to Script Portal dot Vegas dot DLL and click on add and click on OK and now we have script portal listed as I go and look at these when I click on them these have a copy local flag so I'm going to go through each one of these and change the copy local to false on every one of them Okay, so now they are all false. Next thing I'm going to do is add the system windows form. System dot, and when you just start typing, now they pop up on the screen for you, and you can just click on OK, and forms, and that is added. Now let's type in using script portal dot, Vegas. Once again, we still need our entry point, so I'm going to add that here on the bottom. So let's do our public class entry point, and then we're going to have our bracket, and when I put in the first bracket, it automatically puts in the closing bracket for me. Now we add the from Vegas, just like we did before. And then we're going to put our brackets, and once again it puts both brackets for me. Now, I am going to create a new test script. It's going to be class 1, which is the class that's listed above. And we'll just call it test equals new test script. Not class 1. And we need parentheses there. Then I am going to use test and I'm going to create a new routine and I'm going to call main 
and pass Vegas to it. So now, up here, under a class, I need to have a main routine, which gets Vegas. I'm going to do the same thing I did in Notepad and add a public variable here of type Vegas and call it my Vegas. By using the my Vegas, then I don't have to worry about ever accidentally changing what Vegas is. So now I'm going to put my Vegas equals Vegas. And then we will put in the message box dot show and version and plus my Vegas dot version. As you can see, as soon as I hit the dot, it pops up the list of items over here of items that I can actually choose from, so it makes it much easier to know exactly what you can do. So if, for example, I was wanting uh, to look at something under the project, I could go to here and choose project, and then come in here and see what my options are under project, like file path, if I wanted to see what the file path of this project was, or look through the markers, or play with the media pool, or any of the things that are listed here. Now let's go back and change this to dot, and I'll type in V for version, and version happens to be the first V, so it automatically selected it, and then once again we have to add the semicolon at the end, and now we have the script written. So let's come up here, let's change this to release instead of debug, and then let's come up here to build and build solution. If there's an error, it's going to tell you right off that there was an error. It just completed the build, so now let's go over to Vegas. And we go to Tools, Scripting, Run Script. Now we're going to go inside Test Script. Go inside Test Script. And we're going to go inside this bin folder, which has a release folder. And here is the DLL that it just created. So now when I select it, click on open, and it shows us the version number. So by using Visual Studio, we can use autocomplete, which simplifies the editing process tremendously, and we don't have to worry about, am I typing this correctly? Is everything, is the option that I want available? So that just totally simplifies the editing process.